Hey everybody, it's Pastor Brad here. Uh, I want to start with this, this week. I want you to know we miss you. We wish so much that we were together and could see each other more frequently, but it's just not the way it is. We'll get through this, but I want you to know that we as a staff miss our church family. Last week it was Easter, and I don't know how it was for you, but for our family it was the oddest Easter that we've really ever experienced. But nonetheless, as odd as it was, we experienced Jesus together as a family and it was wonderful to worship Him. I hope that was your experience as well. It's so interesting for us. We have uh, seen a lot of traction and a lot of momentum. A lot of people are going to our online services to watch. In fact, over Easter there were over, well, I think around 1,500 households or devices or however you want to measure that, that were part of our weekend gathering. So it's really cool. Thanks for sending pictures of your experiences that encourages all of us and so keep doing that so last week something really amazing happened for Elfie and myself and that was uh, on each night Monday through Friday at six o'clock through our neighborhood there was a parade of vehicles of people from Copper Hills sending messages of encouragement and love and affection for us and it was the most amazing week so Elfie and I wanted to say thank you if you were part of that we're so grateful for that if you wanted to be part of that we're grateful for that so thank you for blessing our family in amazing ways uh, this last this last week so uh, this uh, coming up weekend we're starting a brand new series we're calling it eyewitness and really what it is is it's in the first century Palestine there was a lot of turbulence and uncertainty and there's one single figure that keeps showing up and uh, being a significant part of people's lives and that's Jesus himself so we want to look at some of those encounters in the uh, first century that people have with Jesus, tell a little bit of their story. We think we can learn from them as well. So that's starting this weekend. A quick update for you. We're trying to get better as we go along in terms of making it easy for you to get to our online services. So starting this weekend, there's one central place that you go to. You don't have to go anywhere else. Go to copperhills.org. That's our website. You'll find some buttons that you can just click on that'll take you directly to the online service. If you happen to miss it, there's another button you can catch up on. All of the family life resources are right there. So copperhills.org, that's the place to go this weekend and uh, everything will be right there. So again, before I close, I wanna say we miss you. We pray for you as a staff. We care so much about what's going on in your lives. And if there's something we can do for you, would you please let us know? Uh, we would be do glad to help out in any way that we can. One last thing, I want to give a shout out to our healthcare workers who are on the front lines and uh, talk to some of them are working 60, 70, 80 hours a week to uh, help those that are sick. And uh, we just bless you for what you're doing. We pray for you. We want to encourage you and stand with you on the front lines there. So uh, we often end our services this way. I want to end it, uh, our, uh, the video today in, in this way as well. I want to ask that the Lord would bless you and he would keep you that he would make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, that he would take your face in his hands and he would communicate his love to you through this difficult time. May you experience him and enjoy him and we'll see each other on the weekend.